Okay, so welcome. Um, this video is going to be a series of videos. The first in a series of videos that will show you how to build a John Wood template from scratch. Those of you that have uh, seen my videos before and um, and have followed along, you'll know that I much prefer to uh, teach in a fashion that explains things to you rather than just show you parent fashion. So that's what we're going to do. By no means is this video meant to be a, 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 an authoritative on how to build Joomla templates. It's merely designed to give you a head start on building Joomla templates. Uh, there's so much that we could go. We could spend we could spend literally hundreds of hours teaching this stuff. So all this this these series of videos is designed to do is to give you a bit of a, a head start on how to do it. Uh, or rather how to get started on building your own Joomla templates. Uh, building your own Joomla templates, even if you don't want to do that long term, it's a great idea to learn how to do it. Therefore, when you uh, need to edit uh, commercial templates and or other freely available templates, you'll have a much better understanding on how to do that. To give you an even further uh, head start, uh, what we've done is we've developed a, a little... Um, um, template of our own it's more more like a well we refer to it as a skeleton template because that's all it is it's just uh, all the files in the right spot ready for you to build your template so really all we have to focus on is the style sheet and the index.php in order to um, you'll all be familiar with um, uh, the directory structure of your standard uh, template in fact let's just uh, I'm just going to bring up um, template tutorial. Here we go. I'm just going to bring up the folder structure of your typical uh, template. So we have um, the important files are an index.php. Uh, even the XML file is really not that important uh, to really get going. So the index.php is important. Inside the CSS, you'll need some type of template.css. Uh, you'll probably need an images folder. You'll need some HTML folders. I'll get into that a little bit later on. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Uh, contained within, and I'm just looking at the JA Purity here, contained within the template file, file sorry, the index.php, you'll have links that shoot off, let me just make that bigger, that shoot off and grab the other style sheets. So down uh, lower here, this is quite a complicated one. We should see that there are other links to. Uh, here they are here, other links to, it's probably more of a complicated one that I needed to show you. Let me just go up to the bees template. Let's have a bit of a look at that and see if it's something a bit more straightforward. Oops, let's make that a bit bigger. Uh, here we go, a link to the template.css and a couple of links here. So that's really all you need. So what we've done, we've gone ahead and made a skeleton, sheet, uh, skeleton template. Um, so what we're going to presume is that I've already uh, set up a, I'm just going to get a local host .template, oops, sorry, template tutorial, and I've just installed a, um, a uh, standard install of Joomla. And you also notice I deliberately haven't installed the sample data. I'd like you to, it's a good idea to do that because that way we're starting from absolute fresh. Um, so what we need is this skeleton sheet files. Uh, luckily for you, we've gone to the trouble of uh, on our site, which is uh, netreach.com.au, where we're um, uh, web developers and also Joomla experts. Uh, if you go forward slash, that's .com.au, netreach.com.au, forward slash Joomla hyphen stuff, you'll find a very simple file in there, Joomla template skeleton. That's a zip file. You can go ahead and save that. And once you've saved it, uh, if I know where that went, <laughs> it's on my desktop. Remember it is. Computer's going a bit slow. So if I just go to my desktop, uh, and we sort by relevance, then there we should find it there. So I'm just going to open that and I'll bring it over onto this screen here. And as you can see, I've just simply put in the folder structure that you're going to need and the important files. I'm just going to extract that into the template tutorial and templates folder. 
and I'm probably going to need to create a folder as well. So we'll call it um, we'll call it test. Now, of course, if you weren't developing locally, you could also unpack this on your um, on your server wherever you're you're hosted from. Um, so now, if we just uh, go back to my template tutorial site. Actually, before we do that, let's just take a quick look at what's been extracted. So um, I'm just going to bring up uh, here and go down to template tutorial and into the templates folder. And here it is here, test. So obviously I could name that anything I like. Uh, it matters not because all the links below it are all relative to this folder anyway. In other words, they're not absolute links. Um, and if they are, we'll fix them. <laughs> okay, so just trust me, I'm professional. Uh, a few things you can change is in the XML file, if you just want to go and edit that with um, NPAD2, and you'll see that some of my stuff is here, and you can change this here, so we can call that our test template. We go just like that. And it's got all the files in here. And as I said, that's really not as important as the other stuff. So we'll just save that. Uh, and I'll just make sure that I was telling the truth with the relative links. Yes, they all look like relative links, which is good. And the index.php, just open that once more, as you can see, it's just a very, very simple file. There's nothing in here at all. Okay. So now that we've uh, pretty much installed that, let's go to our administrator uh, area and we'll go and log in. And when I now go to extensions and template manager, I should find that there's a new template called test template. And when I put my mouse over it, you'll see it's just got our little logo there and you can even put your own in there later on if you like. So I'm just going to make that as the default. And now I'm going to go and preview the site and we'll see what we get. And what we should get is pretty much nothing. In fact, all this is, is just the text being shown up inside the two body tags. So let's have a bit of a closer look at that. I'm just going to open up Dreamweaver here. And my template tutorial. Here it is, test and the index.php. Uh, look at the code view. And here we have, and those, and as I said, a few assumptions at the start of this video, you need to have some understanding of HTML and, uh, and CSS. So those of you that have some understanding, you'll see opening body tag, template stuff goes here, closing body tag, that's all we have at the moment. Okay. So what I thought we'd build is a pretty standard um, template that has a header at the top a footer at the bottom, and two or three columns. We'll, we'll just start with two columns, I think. Uh, in fact, you know, we might even, uh, maybe we'll even do a menu bar underneath the header. So we'll do a header, a menu bar. So pretty much it'll look like this. It'll look like a header, a menu bar, a left side, um, then a body, a then right side and then footer so that's pretty much what we're going to have okay